the goal of this video is to demystify, you know, what neurosurgery is. It's to help my patients understand what's going through my mind during the day as I try to serve them. It's for people who might be interested in the neurosciences. It's really for them to just get a look at what it's like. Yes, it's sometimes scary and challenging, but you know, if you work hard enough, you can do it. Getting ready. That's about it. Getting ready. Okay, so there's a lot of equipment I have in the OR here. I got a cool suit here that I put on. Um, this is an air uh, vent that brings the air to this cool suit, blows cool air on me so I can work without sweating too much. I got my loops, which I need at times. And then I've got my headlight bag here. So um, I'm always walking in with a whole bunch of stuff. I look like a traveling minstrel. Okay. Good evening, good afternoon everyone. We're ready to roll. Outstanding, outstanding. So this is a headlight which helps me see during the surgery. Two biggest advances in neurosurgery in the last hundred years are illumination and magnification. So we can see more with the light and with the magnification. So I want the cone of this light to be right where my fingers are working. And we'll go scrub. Thank you. Okay. So, this is a very important time during the surgery for me. Um, I was taught a long time ago by one of my mentors that the most important part of a surgery happens before the incision. So, that comes with planning, getting yourself ready and mentally prepared. And, um, thinking about so I have a routine that I do for all of my surgeries I have my five P's and I think about first I start with a pause I think about this patient and exactly what their symptoms are so this is a patient that has neck pain and radiation to her shoulders she has a C4-5 angulation so she's got some pain due to some mild instability of her neck it's causing her headaches, it's causing her radiating arm pain, and it's putting pressure on her spinal cord. Then I think about my plan, how it's going to go. Um, we're actually going to get really good positioning. We're going to mark a good incision, make sure it's exactly where I want to be, drape everything out, make the incision, go through the platysma muscle, come down, open the investing sheath, the sternocleidomastoid, get that plane down, find the vertebral bodies in the pre-retrieval fascia, make sure I'm at the right level, confirm with a radiograph, and then I put the distraction pins in, distract, do the discectomy, bring the microscope in, do the final discectomy, the decompression of the spinal cord and the nerve roots, place the spacers, lock it down with a plate, and then close. And I just think about that plan, exactly how it's going to go. As I said earlier in the other operation, from A to B to C to D to E, and no steps in between and no shortcuts. And then I think of a positive thought, something about how lucky I am to be trained to do this, to have an opportunity to help somebody, to be of service, and um, uh, really just sort of a sense of gratitude and positive thinking. And then lastly, I say a prayer. So that's my routine. Gets me ready to go. And once that routine is done and I step into this theater, it's game on. And uh, you might see me even rolling my legs out and shaking my legs and moving my arms and moving my neck. And it's literally like an athletic contest to me. It's like I'm getting ready for a wrestling match, but that movement kind of really makes me feel like, it just makes me feel like I can do what I need to get done and um, puts me in the right mode. Uh, and especially when things are getting hard or tough, that's, that's the time when you've got to really 
take a little step back, kind of go back to where you where you were and think about things. And I oftentimes, I don't know if you notice, I close my eyes. I really try and take myself to a different place. I'm thinking about the surgery. I'm thinking about the films. I'm thinking about this patient. And I, I oftentimes will just close my eyes and take a little break. It's like my own green room to be ready for surgery. And um, I often tell if there's an instrumentation rep or a nurse that wants to talk to me, I say, don't talk to me here. This is where I get ready to go in. Uh, to the arena and perform. Thank you for singing this song on Sunday for you. Oh yeah? Yeah. Thanks. This is what I do. I wanted to share it with you because it's really rewarding and sometimes as a patient, you may not understand where I'm coming from, but maybe with this video you might understand a little bit more. And as a student, it's just a, another chance for you to get an experience of what it's like and to decide whether you want to go into it or whether you don't want to go into it.